had an amazing cardio session and an amazing amazing breakfast this morning last night i slept at about three o'clock and for the reason being i had two cups of coffee after 5 pm i went out to chill with my friends and decided to have coffee and i think that was a bad idea and i totally regretted it so i've learned a lesson that no coffee after 5 pm at all but before my day starts i really need to wash my gym bag and hence i'm gonna change my gym bag to other one this is my current gym bag by Adidas and this is my old gym bag by Puma. I think I'm gonna shift to my old gym bag again. Uh, I don't think I'll stuff in a lot of things. I'll just add my shoes, perfume, uh, deodorant, room freshener. I always need it. I've got my straps for my Dell lips someday. And my notebook with pen. I've got some random card in here. I don't know why I got there. BCAA and my protein shaker. If you want to see a detailed what's in my bag video, I can totally do that. Just let me know in the comments down below. I am going to take a bath, but before that, I'm going to prep my lunch and also apply a face mask. So, for that, today I'm going to make a wet salad kind of thing and I'm adding complex carbs. So, I'll be adding this, which is millets. This is by the company 24 Mantra. I don't worry, they're not sponsoring me, but I wish they did. So this and I'll be adding some quinoa as well. Any brand is fine to be honest. You do not need to necessarily stick to one brand. So I'll be just eyeballing it. I'll be just adding one scoop of this. And about a scoop and a half of this. Now I do weigh my food but to be honest now I'm very used to it. So now I can eyeball and I know what how much it goes in. So this is done. I'm going to add just water to it, a glass of it. It has to be double the quantity of what you're using so if it's two cups if it's one cup of quinoa and the millets will be adding two cups of water so i'll need just one and a half glass of water in it lately my skin is looking very dull so i think it needs a little pampering so i'm gonna make a diy face mask using wheatgrass i love how wheatgrass makes my skin very clear and i'll show you what i generally do So I've added wheatgrass into my diet and I really love it. Uh, it detoxifies and everything so it's nice. So I'm just going to add a spoon of wheatgrass powder. To moisturize my face a little I'll be adding like half this much of honey to it. Because it's winter and if you're living in a cold uh, place. I think honey is a really great moisturizing agent. I stay in Mumbai and there is no winter here. But it still makes my skin glowy. I'll add half lemon to it. If you have skin that is uh, like really acne prone, I would suggest to avoid lemon because it might end up burning. But if your skin is very normal and not so sensitive, then definitely go ahead and add lemon. To this mixture, I'll be adding some, like a tiny bit of baking soda. Baking soda or baking powder is amazing if you have acne prone skin. And uh, it will fizz up a little. And this is what it looks like. After I apply this mask, I should better turn into a hulk. And here is my quinoa and the millets boiling together. Because they're best friends. To apply this face mask, first you need to do is wash your face. I'm done with that and I'll be using milk to cleanse my face a little with cotton pad. Now if you are in college and if you have very low budget, I think you should be opting for natural products for your skin. And I think it is the best. All you have to do is experiment and find out which product suits you the best. So for me, milk is a really, really nice cleanser and it's underrated as well. So I'll be cleansing my face with milk using a cotton pad. Once your face is clean, absolutely clean, you can go ahead and use brush. Otherwise, use clean fingers to apply face mask on your face. Now, I'm going to wash my hair so I'll not bother if it sticks over somewhere. Otherwise, I would have worn a headband. So, so once you wash your face, I suggest you to clean the wash basin before mom gets angry. Because it happens to me all the time. And apart from that, uh... I'd suggest you to wet your face a little and then start scrubbing it because the wheatgrass powder is 
not very fine and you can still feel the granules so it'll be a great scrub as well i'll be waiting until this dries and also my quinoa is cooking in the kitchen so it will take me about 15 minutes for both the tasks to be done and then i'll be heading to the shower and get clean and it'll be calming as well while the face mask is drying i decided to prep all the veggies that i need i have three different type of lettuce I have three types of bell peppers and this is some kind of herb. I'll put the name on the top of the screen so that you know. It's a very mustardy flavor so I kind of like it and this is still boiling. So the face mask may not completely dry because it has honey in it and it's a moisturizing agent. I am gonna turn this guy into Hulk now. He got scared, I guess. He's very sleepy. At this time of the day, he is sleepy. Like, he'll find a corner and go and sleep. No, no. Hi. No, no. <laughs> Don't worry, he did not taste it. He was just smelling it. Boy, hey boy. He is just adorable but lazy AF. That's a very basic easy meal for the dressing. I just added some apple cider vinegar and honey and salt and pepper of course and it is absolutely delicious. Whenever I feel demotivated or I just want to pamper myself, I'll call up a friend, I'll go out for a coffee and this place in Kargar being my absolute favorite, I generally order iced Americano and it does not have sugar, it does not have milk and it's the best pre-workout for me. I just got back home from the gym and lately I've been loving drinking smoothies after my workout. So rather than drinking plain protein shake, I make a smoothie. And this is one another change which I made in my diet. Rather than having fruits in the morning, I take it after a workout and it has been helping me a lot and also keeps my sugar craving under control. So this is what I'll be doing. I have some pine, uh, papaya. I'll be adding like few pieces of it. One banana. A scoop of protein powder. This is raw protein powder. I really like raw because it's flavorless and you can add it to anything and you cannot taste it as well. So a scoop of that. As per my greens, I have kale leaves in the fridge and hence I'll be adding that. If you do not have, please add... Uh, if you do not have, please add palak to it or spinach, what do you call? But I have kale and I'll be adding that. Kale is really rich in antioxidant and if it's easily available for very cheap price, I'd suggest you to buy it. And then I'll be adding some iced cold water. To end it all, I'll be adding chia seeds to it. It's a great source of omega-3. And the last thing is cinnamon. Cinnamon boosts your metabolism and I really love how it tastes in my smoothies. I decided to go for 20 minutes of cardio because I was getting bored at home and uh, I did just 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes now steps up and down and that is my absolute favorite cardio. Now I'm gonna have my dinner in half an hour. My mom made tomato soup from scratch at home and I'll be drinking that with a piece of chicken breast as my protein source and that will be the end of my meals today. And my day is pretty boring because I stay at home all day. And I work from home right now. I do not have a job. I completed my post-graduation last year and I decided to take break for a year or two. And hence I'm concentrating completely on my fitness journey and also YouTube. 
and I wanted some me time before my actual life starts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It supports me a lot. And every time I upload a video, you can get notified by clicking the bell besides the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.